Welcome to its tomorrow news. I am Hena Talati. Record breaking hit scotches the Western United States and Canada. The West United States has taken a dive straight into the summer with the temperatures well above those normally seen even at the end of the July. Record breaking temperatures and the heat wave will continue to grip the entire region through much of this week. Yesterday, several locations across the Pacific Northwest broke daily high temperature records. For reference, Seattle's normal temperature at the end of July is around 79 degrees Fahrenheit, so the temperatures are well above even the normal highs seen in the dark days of the summer. Many people in the Pacific Northwest do not have air conditioning and with the overnight lows running warm as well, the body is not able to easily recover from the daytime heat. It has prompted heat alerts for more than 10 million people across the Pacific Northwest and portions of the Central California. The weather setup very much resembles the weather pattern seen in the middle of the summer for the region. A big dome of high pressure is sitting over the northwest, allowing dried down slope winds to come off the mountains, spiking temperatures well above the average. As the heat continues to build this week, nearly 150 high temperature records will be in danger across the west. While the heat will spread further is throughout the week to include the Rockies and Central and Southern Plains, the most dramatic heat will be the west. Temperatures are running 20 to 30 degrees above normal across the Pacific Northwest. Weather services offices all across the West are urging people to stay out of the water and find relief from the heat in other ways. Water temperatures are in 50s for most part, cold enough to cause cold water shock and hyperthermia. This heat is not just affecting the United States. It has been even more extreme across the western portions of the Canada. Several cities across British Columbia set new monthly records Sunday including Litton, which topped out around 97 degrees hotter than the average temperatures in Phoenix, Arizona experiences around this time of the year. Environment Canada has issued a heat warnings for northern portions of the Alberta and portions of the British Columbia where the high temperatures are forecast to reach the mid 80s. Temperatures here are running 15 to 25 degrees above normal so the weather agency is urging people to cancel outdoor plants if they are unnecessary as the heat related illness are possible. The heat is also having a huge effect on Canada's active start to the fire season. There are currently 89 fires burning in Alberta alone where fires have scorched 1.3 million acres so far this year. It puts 2023 as the fifth busiest fire season on record in Alberta. We still have several months to fire season yet to go. While the hottest temperatures may have peaked over the weekend, the long-range outlook looks to remain quite warm for the Northwest. That's all for now. For more news updates, stay tuned with us. It's tomorrow news. For more global weather updates like this, subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates.